Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working on a Lenovo IdeaPad 320. The exact model is a 32017 IKB. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your Wi Fi card. So, first thing, guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip your computer over to access your bottom case screws. Now, there's quite a lot of screws here. You have these four on the, on the bottom edge of your screen these five along the top edge of your screen, this one here near your DVD drive, these three in the middle, and these two here on the right edge. Now after removing all of these screws, you want to also remove your DVD drive here before attempting to take off your bottom case. So you're going to have a small flat pry tool, you're going to put it right in this seam here, and then you're going to gently but firmly slide it to the left to remove that DVD drive. Be careful, these are known to pop off and break, so press firmly, but do it slowly. Don't do it so hard uh, where you break this off before the DVD drive has time to slide over. After that, you're gonna take your small, flat, plastic pry tool. I say plastic because metal tends to scratch your cases more. But you'll take your small, flat, plastic pry tool, go all the way around the seam of your bottom case and pry it off from the rest of your computer. It may take a while, especially if you're not used to this procedure, uh, but just go slow. Don't put the pry tool too far in to damage things. Keep it on the edge and go nice and slow but firm. Also be aware right here, guys, you'll see after you remove this DVD drive, what's left is a very thin, very breakable piece of plastic that you're going to have to pry off from the, the rest of the computer. So be very careful there that you don't break that. But after you get all your screws off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. As a side point, guys, whenever I work on a computer in my shop, I always have it sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet go a long way to help you avoid damaging things in your computer when you're working on it. If you need help with any tools or supplies like that for your computer project, as well as any replacement or upgrade parts like your battery, hard drive, RAM, any replacement or upgrade parts for this model computer, there'll be a link above, also below in the description, and I'll have a list of all those tools and parts for the Lenovo IdeaPad 320 17iKB. Also, before touching anything in a computer, I always either remove or at least unplug the main computer battery, which is right down here on the right-hand side of your screen. I actually had a hard time unplugging this without removing the battery. There wasn't a lot of wiggle room here with the wires, and I couldn't get a good grip on that plug. So unfortunately, I had to pull from the wires, which I always say not to do, but I didn't have much of a choice. So in this computer, I had to remove the battery. You have a screw here on the bottom left, screw here in the middle top, screw here on the right-hand side, and after those screws came up, I was able to pull that out gently of that port. Okay, so after removing or unplugging your battery, we can proceed deeper into the computer. This is your Wi-Fi card, guys, right here underneath your fan. As you can see, there are two antenna wire that come down here. They just snap right on top of the Wi-Fi card. So to disconnect that, you'd simply pull them up straight out of the computer. Those would snap off of the Wi-Fi card. And then you're left with this single screw right there in the middle. And once you release that screw, this Wi-Fi card will slide up and out of this port. And as mentioned before, if you're looking for a replacement Wi-Fi card, it'll be included in that link below in the description, uh, the list of all the parts and tools. So I hope this helped you out, guys. Get into your computer, locate this item. Um, if you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It can save you some time getting an answer. If you need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to answer those a couple times a day at least. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.